What's up everyone? This is me, Sean, and today guys, we are back on the Skydog server. Now today guys, what I want to do is I want to expand the island a little bit. Uh, starting with this uh, tree farm right here, it's a little, it's just a little uh, bit small here. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to expand it a little bit uh, off this way and off that way today. And also, I'm going to be working on a new source of income other than these plants over here because they're not a very good source of income on the server. So, uh, by the way, if I hit balance, I have four thousand dollars apparently i thought i had three thousand but i don't know i guess i sold something and i forgot about it but yeah today guys i want to go ahead i want to get my first spawner so if we hit slash shop here you can see right here that we have a bunch of spawners that you can buy uh ranging from four thousand dollars to eight million dollars i think is that the is that the most expensive one yeah eight million dollars is the most expensive one so yeah, today I'm gonna buy a zombie spawner, and we're gonna make a zombies farm uh, so that I can get all good, all sorts of good stuff. That's the game plan for today, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the tree farm here. I think I'm going to speed most of this up, but I'm going to extend the wood platform out that way, and then I'm going to extend uh, the wood platform out this way a little bit too, and then you know just add some dirt periodically. You know, it's just gonna be some boring work, but I wanted to go ahead and document it before I started it. So let's grab some wood. And let's get going. Alright guys, well I have finished the rest of the tree farm here as you can see over here we have, hold on, one, two, three, four, five, six additional spaces and uh, yeah, I'm going to have to farm up some more oak uh, wood to expand this more, uh, but for now, you know, this is going to be good, this is going to be great actually, and I just got tabbed out. So guys, next on the agenda for today is getting that zombie spawner and building a basically zombie killing machine so I can automatically get their drops. So. Yeah, the way I think I'm going to do this is, uh, I think I'm going to do a little lava blade. So if you guys don't know what that is, I guess I'll show you. Um, oh gosh, I just knocked my mouse. I'm so sorry about that. Uh, but basically what a lava blade is, obviously you need lava. Let's see if I can explain this. I don't know if I can uh, without showing. Uh, but you guys are just going to have to trust me on this one, okay? I know what I'm doing here. So yeah, if you guys don't know what a lava blade is, I guess you'll see when I build. So I'm thinking sort of like a big spawning room where they get pushed into the lava and hopefully their drops will come out on the bottom and I'll be standing right outside there to collect all the drops. So now that we have a little bit of a uh, idea in our heads, let's go ahead and let's buy a spawner. So let's go slash shop and let's buy us the zombie spawner. We have $4,000 and this costs $4,000. So let's go ahead and let's purchase ourselves. Oh, wait, what? No, I need to subtract one. How do I subtract one? Oh, no. Oh, hold on. Okay, all right, we're going to confirm this, and boom, now we have a zombie spawner. So we're going to go ahead and stick the zombie spawner in here for now. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build this place out of stone bricks. Uh, it's going to look a little weird uh, with all this uh, wood stuff. With all this wood stuff, yes. Um, but it's not going to burn when I put the lava in. So, you know, there's always a bright side. So I guess I'm just going to build it. Hmm. Should I build it down below? I feel like I should build this down below. So maybe I will. I don't know, but if I'm going to build it down below, first thing I'm going to need to do is make an area down below. So uh, yeah, I think how I'm going to do that is I'm going to take this bucket of water. I'm going to pour it off the edge. Uh, this edge, maybe? This edge right there. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to keep that there for now. And uh, yeah, now I'm going to take some blocky blocks. I'm going to take some wood, and uh, I'm also going to put that in there. So we're going to take some wood. We're going to drop down below here. We're going to use this sort of like a watery scaffold. All right. Oh, this is sketch. This is so sketchy right now. Faster. Like 
the hell cut. Alright, so now I should be able to go ahead and build the zombie farm down there. So, let's take the stone bricks. Uh, do I have uh, torches? And let's take some food as well, because I'm probably going to need that. So, yeah. Oh, no, I did not mean to put you back. So, guys, I'm just going to go ahead and get started with this build. It's not going to be super, super big, but it's going to be big enough. So, I guess I'll see you guys on the other side. Alright guys, well the basic shape of this farm is done, uh, basically where the spawner is going to sit, it's going to sit right on top of this guy right here, and it's going to spawn zombies all around here, and the way it's going to work is I'm going to have water that's pushing the zombies all the way over to here, and down one, and right about here is where the lava blade will be, and they will be forced to stop here, because there will be water flowing this way, and there will be lava just sitting here, and there's a block over their head and whatnot. So hopefully when they die, they don't swim up, and their stuff just comes out the bottom and over to me. So, yeah, that's the basic floor plan of this farm. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, get a lot more stone bricks, because I'm going to need a lot more stone bricks. And uh, yeah, I guess I'm going to build it up, but I'll see you guys when I'm done building it up. Alright guys, well I finished the structure for the zombie farm, now basically all I have to do is I have to put the zombie spawner in here, like right here, so yeah, and I also have to bring in the water, which is hopefully only going to flow to here, uh, which should be good, but I need it all to pour off in this direction, and uh, in this corner I need it to go in this direction, so yeah, I guess I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to go back up to uh, here, I'm going to get some water, I'm going to start pouring it, and we will see how this turns out. Hopefully it turns out well, or uh, good. Oh, this is actually going to be very, very perfect. So if I can get one more, one more of you guys into here. Okay, come on, come on. There we go. Then I can, hold on, I can get you to come over to this side. So... It'll all flow to here. Okay, hold on. Maybe... Wait, hold on. Alright. I, oh, I didn't grab the right one. Okay, let's grab that one. Put that there. Let's grab this one and put it here. Now, where... Yeah, see, it would flow to right here. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? Maybe I need to go get the other sign, which is right here. Okay, maybe I need to do that. And then... Hmm. Well, I can't have blocks here, so I think I'm just gonna tag up this corner right here. Okay, well, now you have the problem if they get stuck here. Yeah, it's gonna be an issue. Uh, that's gonna be fine for the items. Now, what about the zombies? Are the zombies gonna be pouring it out this way, or what? I don't know, okay. Let's tag the stone brick right there. And let's see if I start from over here, if I flow out that way. Maybe. Oh yeah, also that's not going to be there, so that's not going to be an issue. So if I just let myself go, will I end up in here? Yes. Sort of. Okay, and then they'll get pushed. Alright. You know what? I think I'm going to be good. I think this is going to be a good design. So, let's go ahead and let's go up and let's get the zombie spawner. And hopefully I didn't just flub all this up. I really hope I didn't just mess all this up. That would be real, real bad. Uh, but, yeah, let's just go ahead, let's take the zombie spawner, and let's make sure we have that. 
Oh, I also didn't place the, the lava blade, so I should do that. All right, so let's grab this lava, and now let's go down there and finish it up. All right, so I have to place the spawner, then the lava, then the block. All right, so actually I'm going to have to, like, destroy this guy right here. All right, get destroyed. So right here's where the spawner is going to go. All right, we're going to get out. You're going to go there, and you are going to be like that. Okay, so... Will they burn? <gasps> what? Okay, so we have an issue here. I think I just made a giant cobblestone generator. Yeah. Uh-oh. Okay, this is a problem. I gotta get in there. Okay. How, how, where is it? It's right here. Okay, sweet. So, if I do that, a spawner status only spawns on air. Spawns on these four so far. Upgrade with... Oh, there's an upgrade system. Okay. Can I, like... Yeah, place that down on you. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to deactivate this guy for... Oh, crap. Alright, I'm gonna have to deactivate this guy for a little bit here, if, if I can. Okay. I'm gonna have to get in here and, like... Light it up. Alright. It's all lit up, and there's a lot of you. Okay, well... No, 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 no. Okay. Hi! Yeah, you guys are going to be a pain, aren't you? Oh, there's a little guy, too. Alright. Let's see if I can get out of here without, you know, breaking myself. Oh, gosh. Yeah, oh, it's flowing directly under it. Oh, uh, I know what the matter, I know what the problem is. Alright, well, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to try to fix it here, so let's try to do that. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to fix this issue, and I'll be back in a little bit, guys. Hold on. Alright guys, so it's a couple days later, if you can't tell from that last clip, I rage quit a little bit. I got a little frustrated, so I pretty much stopped. So, yeah, as you can see, nothing really changed other than that thing is a little bit further away than it was before, but, you know, it's, it's whatever. <gasps> no, 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 I will not do this! Oh, was I quick enough? Did I save my stuff? Please tell me I saved my stuff. I did! Haha! <laughs> oh, that was a weird laugh. Okay. Well... I guess I only really have one other fix to that farm down there, and uh, I just punched that guy. I'm so sorry, Flower. Um, but yeah, basically my fix is just to make a wider thing down at the bottom there. So all of this right here is going to be more than two blocks. And it was so obvious. This is like, it's the most obvious thing, but I just didn't think of it before for some reason. I don't know. So... Yeah, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to get the blocks to construct it, and then I'm going to construct it on camera. And then we're probably going to go off and do something else, maybe in the nether, maybe go see how much I can get on the moon. I don't know, but I will see you guys after I am done building the rest of this. Hold on. Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night, I raise my hand to the fire. But it's no use Cause you can't stop it from shining through It's true Baby, let the light shine through If you believe it's true Baby, won't you let the light shine through
Alright guys, well I am back and I have greatly, greatly improved the farm. Now, as you can see above me, it is totally different uh, design than before, because before, you know, it was just flowing out over here. But now, uh, what I've done is I've put a lava blade above some trapdoors, uh, because, if you guys didn't know, you can actually grab items through trapdoors, so you know, when they die, they drop the items on the trapdoors, and I just go, whoop, on there, you know? So, yeah, that's basically the whole design of the farm. There's water pushing them into there. And uh, as you get more money and stuff, you can actually upgrade the spawners in this uh, server. And there we go. Look at that. I just got seven rotten flesh. And also, there's chickens spawning here. I don't know how this chicken spawned down here, but he's down here. It's just, I don't know. I don't know. And there's also another chicken up here. So, I don't know if it's something that has to do with your island level or something. I don't know. And, uh, yeah, your island does have levels, by the way, if you guys didn't know that. That's another cool little uh, feature in this. So yeah, I feel like I've gotten a lot done in this video. Uh, so yeah, just look at it. It looks a little bit different. It's got a couple more steps in the front. And uh, yeah, it's a little bit ghetto rigged for now. But you know, that's, that's just how it is. It's just how it is. So I yeah, I basically jerry rigged this, <laughs> this thing. So it looks a little weird. Huh? But you know, it works sort of. It sort of works. And uh, when I get a bunch of these guys, I'm just going to sell them to upgrade this with, I'm going to sell more to upgrade it with, to get more spawners for better stuff to sell. That's how this is going to work. It's like an economy thing. It's a whole different thing than uh, just regular old survival Minecraft skyblock. Alright, can I? Yeah. Alright, so what I think I'm going to do for the rest of the video is, uh, I think I'm going to get geared up, and I think I'm going to go ahead into the nether, see if I can find any more stuff in the nether, because... Uh, there's a lot of good stuff in the nether, so yeah, I'm going to get geared up, and I will see you guys when I head over there. Well, guys, it is now time to go to the nether, so we're just going to hit this command, and we're going to enter the nether. Okay, all right, so I'm invulnerable for five seconds, and there's a nice little quartz uh, thing down there. That's very cool. Hello, pig man. Don't kill me, please. Uh, okay, so how do I get down there? Okay, don't, don't break my legs. Don't break my legs. All right, I think I'm good. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, I thought I was just having some weird stuff going on. So we have uh, some guards and stuff. Are you going to attack me if I go near you? Please no. Alright, you are friendly. Then I will be friendly if you are friendly. Alright. So I think I'm going to try to get over there, which seems this bridge goes over there. And so I can get the loot chest over there. So that's going to be very nice, very nice. Oh, that's a lot of bad things over there. I'm not going over there. And there's a lot of bad things over here. Hello. Just going to kill you because that that's fun all right oh 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 there's a lot of bad things there is a lot of bad things i am so dead i am so dead oh goodness oh i had to dip out so quickly oh my goodness there's a lot of just bad there <laughs> oh man okay do i have i don't have milk i can't get milk i don't have cows darn it all right so i can't cancel those effects so let's go to the nether, and hopefully I don't get murked this time, because that would be not cool. And this was the place I ended at last time. Uh, so that's it's pretty cool, it's pretty cool. Alright, I'm going to go down there and try to battle it out with that blaze, hopefully win, and then get into the fortress and have some good times, you know? Okay, alright, he sees me, he sees me. Strafe, strafe, he hit me, I'm dead, I'm dead. Alright, you're dead. Okay, please, okay, I'm not dead, good. Oh, there's so much fire. So many bad things. Alright, dude. If you don't attack me, I won't attack you. Deal? Okay, deal. There we go. Alright, let's get up here. Okay, anything else? Oh, I can get up here. It's probably better stuff. Up here. Okay, that was great parkour. Good job, me. Alright. Boo! Nope. Oh, whoa! That was perfect timing, apparently. Alright, let's not do that, please. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Ho, ho, ho! Uh -huh. All right, I'm turning French apparently. All right, finally I'm up here. Okay, any loot chest? Yeah, there's a loot chest right there. Look at all that good stuff. There's so much good stuff, especially that fire resistance potion and that speed potion. That may be very useful in here, because uh, I'm not really equipped to PvP. Hello, dude. Goodbye, dude. Okay, let's not hang out with the pigmen. That would be a bad idea, especially if someone came up and hit one of them. Oh, that wouldn't be good for anybody. All right, hello. Oh, another chest. Good. All right, we got some more apples, some gravel, you know. Oh, ho, 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 
You know what? How how long is this? It's eight minutes. Ooh. Let's go ahead and let's farm some blaze rods here, boys. You can sell these blaze rods for a ton of money, by the way. So that's why I'm farming up some here. All right. Let's get a monopoly on these blaze rods, boys. So this is a lot of money that I have in my hand. Hello? Oh, you're shooting each other. Yes, please do that. Okay, they're not spawning anymore. You know what? Uh, I think I'm just gonna go uh, around to more of the places, because uh, more of the places sounds like a good place to go. All right, so none of the bosses are alive. Oh my goodness! Uh, okay. Oh! Ho! Oh! Ho! 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 That was close. Oh, that was close. But look at this thing. Oh, whoops. Look at that. Oh my goodness. This is so cool. Oh, this is a thumbnail. This is totally the thumbnail here. Boom. Oh, that is so sick. Oh, but the evil slime is not alive right now. Is there something I have to do to, you know, make him alive again or something? Or what? Do I drop down here and go? Boom. Evil slime alive. Uh, no, but there's a skeleton guard. Can I kill you? No, I can't. So... The slime dude's not alive. King Slime is not alive, sadly. But, you know, I can actually take a picture of me on the throne. <laughs> Just a tourist. <laughs> Just a tourist visiting an area here. Let's get back into the throne. There we go. Yeah. Boom. There we go. That is a very nice picture. Very nice. Man, this is a really cool place. I just wish the, the Slime King was alive. You know? Because then, you know, you can have an epic battle. Epic boss battle. It makes this episode even better. But sadly, he's not alive, because I don't know, but it's it's not okay with me. Alright, what is over here? Lucifer's minions are building here, or still building here. Okay, what is that down there? There's an underground thing! Oh, I gotta go over there. I have to find all this stuff out. I have to explore, man. This is awesome! I might have to dedicate a whole episode uh, just to me going into the nether. Yeah, I think that's gonna be it for the nether today, guys. Uh, I'm probably going to dedicate... A whole other episode to defeating the bosses, but for some reason the bosses aren't around right now. So, I'm going to head back to my island, I'm going to cash in on everything I've done this episode, and I'm going to sign out. So hold on. You know what? Actually, oh gosh. I forgot that I said I was going to go open some crates today. Uh, I think I know where to go to open the crates. I might not know though. Hmm. Let me go ahead and ask real quick. Okay, so I think I found where to get the crates, or are these just enchants? Uh, common crate, place this crate somewhere. Okay, so can I get a common crate? So we have, all right, we have farming crate key, an uncommon crate key. Right click to open an uncommon crate to win an item. So what do you do? You just do that? No, can I right click on you? Okay, oh, okay, so if you right click on these guys, you get a crate. So I don't know where to use these flower crate keys for, but I'm going to use this common crate key. So let's go ahead and let's open it right here. Oh, I can't can't place it here so let's go back to my island and see if I can open it there oh whoopsie all right boom yes I can so right click to open what well isn't that swell <laughs> well I can't use this guy he's permanently there uh, because I don't know I don't even know I don't even know guys so we got a lot done today, and I'm actually very, very proud of how much I got done. So, I guess I'm going to sign off for now. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't yet, hit that big old red subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next video.